How huge could this be if it works? Oh, gigantic. A New York company is starting a clinical study for a new drug that could cure COVID-19. And it's happening right here in the Salt Lake Valley. The key is to, to its success is finding the right patients now. New specialist Dan Rascone got an inside look into the study and who they're looking for. Dan? Well, it's pretty exciting what's happening right here in this clinic in Draper. If all goes as planned, this could be a game changer. But we also know these kind of studies are happening all over the world. However, this drug company believes they do have a drug that's promising. If this works, this has the potential to be absolutely groundbreaking. A major clinical study on COVID-19 happening right here in this small clinic in Draper, where specialists are trying to determine if this little bottle of medicine could be the cure for the virus. A simple to use, inexpensive, super safe, drug that people can do at home. Dr. Harris is an allergy and asthma specialist who is also a clinical investigator. He's tested many drugs over the years, but never before has he tested a drug with such worldwide potential as this one. How huge could this be if it works? Oh, gigantic. Thomas Hatch is a director of business development for Beach Tree Labs, the New York-based company behind the drug. Clinical study in the greater Salt Lake area. They're releasing a, a media campaign in Utah to find 40 patients to participate in this FDA-approved study that is in phase two. They are looking for those who have tested positive, over 60, and have current health issues. We will collect information on these patients, all from the comfort of their own home. We don't have any patients coming into a hospital or a doctor's office. Taking this drug is very simple. All you do is pop the top off and drop one drop underneath your tongue several times a day. And then you check in with the doctor. The drug is not meant to cure those already in the hospital or in critical condition. It's meant to catch it at the beginning so a person doesn't end up in the hospital. We want people that we can prevent from getting sick instead of trying to fix the people that are already. We're pretty confident our drug can do some good things, but we have to prove it. If they can get those 40 patients, then it takes about 14 days for the actual study. Then they move into phase three, if all goes well, where they bring in hundreds of patients. If that goes according to plan, then they believe that they may be able to get this drug on the market before the end of the year. I'm Dan Rascone for KSL 5 News. Dan, thank you.